everyone and welcome to today's oil painting time lapse and studio sessions episode 50. Today's video is brought to you by Skillshare, an online learning community for creators with over 25,000 classes in drawing, painting, design, and more. Their premium membership gives you unlimited access to high quality courses from experts working in their fields so you can improve your skills, unlock new opportunities, and do the work you love. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the perfect place to keep you learning and thriving in 2019. One of my favorite classes from Skillshare is actually helping me improve my video editing skills. It's called DIY Filming, where they teach you to create professional looking videos with inexpensive equipment that you already own. Skillshare is also super affordable as their annual subscription is less than $10 a month. Join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare. The first 500 of my subscribers to use this link in the description and on the screen will get a two month free trial. Okay, so first off, I wanted to thank all of you for your suggestions during my last video where I posed a question to you guys. Um, I wasn't sure what to do moving forward with my videos because I felt like I was becoming very redundant and repetitive and running out of ideas for these studio session voiceovers. All of you gave me so many great ideas, but one that particularly stood out to me was something that many of you suggested, which was to instead of using the voiceovers as a way to talk about one particular topic that's related to art or art careers. Um, instead, focus the voiceover content on the artwork itself, explaining maybe a little bit of the backstory, a little bit of the process, um, give some tips and explain my reasoning behind doing certain things, using certain colors, etc. So I really, really like that idea and it kind of reminds me of how I used to edit and structure my videos. I think after I did my first series on YouTube, which was called 30 Days of Art, um, that's where I started the format of using the video voiceover space to talk about art-related topics. And then I moved on to my studio sessions, which was basically the exact same thing as 30 Days of Art, except it didn't really have a numerical limit. So I thought initially when I started creating studio sessions that I would probably just create as many episodes as I could until I found a better format or until I decided to abandon the format for whatever reason. And now I think it is that time. I started studio sessions in March of 2017, so just about two years ago. And currently, as of this video, there are 50 episodes of studio sessions. I think 50 is definitely a very well-rounded whole number that is a good number to kind of end the series on. Um, this doesn't mean that I intend on quitting this format of video altogether. Of course, as always, um, if I think of a new topic or if people request a topic, I'd be more than happy to share whatever knowledge I have regarding that topic. So moving forward, I simply wanna get rid of studio sessions because I want a little bit more freedom when it comes to how I do my videos. I think for the longest time, I had this weird impulse to always categorize all of my videos into a specific collection. I didn't want there to be a video floating around that didn't belong in a predefined category. So when I started studio sessions, you know, I thought every single time lapse, whether it's a drawing or a painting, as long as it's a time lapse video, I could put it into studio sessions and that way people have an organized playlist or an organized collection of videos they can watch from beginning to end. And while I do still love that format because like I said before, I do love just playing YouTube videos in the background as I work and having you know a playlist is a very convenient way to do so. Um, I also think on the other hand, it really stifled a lot of my freedom and creativity when it comes to making videos. I was so concerned with making sure that my video belonged in whatever categories I had that I didn't allow myself to explore or experiment with different types of video formats. You know, it, it's the same with my artist vlogs. Like I kept tacking on an episode number after every single artist vlog or every single studio sessions that instead of having the mindset of trying new things and experimenting, my mindset was always continuing the series adding, you know, one more episode 
one higher number. So I think I just, moving forward, I want to break free of that old pattern and try to create an atmosphere on my YouTube channel where I definitely feel more comfortable making different types of videos, different lengths of videos. Um, a while back, I think I was looking at a lot of helpful YouTube, like reading material and, you know, tips from other YouTubers. And a lot of people said that 10 minutes was the sweet spot for YouTube videos, that um, most people nowadays don't like shorter videos. They like to actually take their time and really become engrossed in a video. So try to make your video at least 10 minutes long. And I got kind of stuck with this mentality that all my videos should be a little bit longer. So if I didn't have anything to say in the video that could take up 10 minutes, then I would force myself to find a topic that could take up that time. So that's kind of also what deterred me from talking about the artwork because I really don't think I can come up with unique uh, voiceover content describing each individual painting that can take up a full 10 minutes, um, especially as time goes on. You know, every painting will also create some sort of redundancy. There are very consistent and similar reasons why I use certain colors or why I paint certain motifs. So I think the fear of not being able to make longer videos um, also f drove me to create a lot of more complicated and um, detailed voiceover topics. That being said, I don't think there's anything wrong with having long voiceovers or long videos. In fact, um, I'm so grateful that many of you found Studio Sessions and my 30 Days of Art series to be a very helpful set of videos to give you guys advice on how to kickstart your art career and how to you know, be a part of the art or social media uh, artist industry. So I definitely still want to continue putting out helpful tips for you guys, um, not just tips on how to create art, but also tips on how to become an artist and how to earn money as an artist. So I guess what I'm trying to say is after this video, um, you know, it won't be as predictable what kind of videos I'll put out. I will start focusing a lot more time lapses on the art itself and letting you guys know more backstory, more of how my brain works when it comes to creating pieces. Um, there might be less videos about art careers and advice um, about how to be an artist, but in return, I think there's gonna be more of a heavy focus on um, creating art and uh, creating paintings and perhaps more tutorials and more studio vlogs. Um, I don't know, but either way, I hope you guys understand and you know, it is a very bittersweet farewell because I feel like I've worked on this series for so long. I mean, it has been two years and 50 videos is not easy. You know, each video is always a labor of love and it's just really rewarding to look back on the series and know how far it's come, like 50 videos, wow. So I definitely won't be, you know, reducing my activity on YouTube or reducing how frequently I upload or anything like that. Um, like I said, I simply want to break out of an old pattern so I can try something new, but this will definitely be the last episode of Studio Sessions. And maybe moving forward, I will create a new series and call it something else. I don't know, maybe story time or something. I'm not sure, but either way, I have to bid this wonderful journey of Studio Sessions a very fond and uh, bittersweet farewell. This oil painting was a commission for a beautiful client and I'm in love with this black ornate frame that seems made just for the piece. I painted my client as a unicorn mermaid or maybe a narwhal mermaid holding a magical little jellyfish. Since the original is already adopted, I have listed fine art prints for sale on my website. Due to the size of the painting and various areas that had glare, it was one of my more difficult pieces to scan and get print ready, but it was worth all the effort because the prints have such vivid colors and the amount of detail is barely distinguishable from the original. Also, today is the last day to take advantage of my Valentine's Day sale, so if you want to get 20% off of your order, enter the code LOVE at happyd-artist.com. If you want to check out more artworks, works in progress, and just random daily artist adventures, feel free to check out my Instagram and you can follow me at the handle at happydartist. 
And if you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step -step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and so much more, all available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!